What is up y'all? Odeed here once again and today I'm going to show you guys how to do boneless skinless chicken thighs on the grill. It's super simple and I'm going to show you guys the secret to not drying them out. Let's go ahead and get that video started. Alright y'all, here are the chicken thighs. By the way, we are not doing a uh, barbecue competition style chicken thighs uh, that you would cook in a competition. This is for backyard smoking for your friends and family. So I just picked these up at Walmart. They're nothing special. Uh, the first thing you do is kind of flatten them out like this. And then the next thing we want to do is get rid of some of this fat. Just take a knife like this. All right, we just trimmed a little bit of the fat off, uh, not too much. The next thing we're gonna do is apply some rub. I'm gonna use my Big Jake's Dangle Rub, but just use whatever rub you have sitting in the pantry that you use on chicken. Get a nice even coating, kind of pat it in. Do both sides, obviously. All right, and that's all there is to it. Uh, we're gonna let these sit out and marinate while we go fire up the grill. All right, y'all, I got my grill fired up. It's sitting at about 400 degrees. Let's go ahead and put the chicken thighs on. By the way, you can do this on a gas grill or a charcoal grill like this. Just whatever kind of grill you got, this will work. All right, close the lid, check them every two minutes. All right, y'all, two minutes in, we are gonna check the chicken thighs. Looking good. We're going to give them a flip. By the way, I have a two zone fire set up. And what that means is there's charcoal on this side of the grill and no charcoal on this side of the grill in case I have any flare ups from the fat. Or say if some of these get done before the other ones do, you can always set the ones that are done over here by the side and it'll keep them warm. Scoot these around and put the ones that look less done in the uh, kind of hotter areas of the fire here. All right, close the lid, two more minutes. All right, we're at a total of four minutes now. We flipped them once, let's take a look. Oh yeah, they're looking good. Let's flip them again. Kind of move them around a little bit. Make sure they're cooking evenly. You can kind of tell by the grill marks which ones have uh, cooked a little faster. All right, let's do two more minutes. All right, we are six minutes in. Let's take a look. They're looking nice. Let's give them another flip. All right, now we are to the point where I'm gonna teach you guys the secret on how to not overcook or dry out your chicken. We're gonna take its temperature. Got a thermopin here. So these chicken thighs are done when you get to an internal temperature of 160. So this one here, all right, so this one we got 137. This one here we got 142. We're getting close, but we're not there yet. This one here is at 152, so it's a little farther along. It's also smaller. Let's check this one. This one's at 149. So yeah, we're gonna do another two minutes on these with the lid closed, and we should be pretty close. So it's now been a total of 10 minutes. We have flipped them four times. Take a look. Flip them over again. Let's take their temps. This one's 157. So it's real close. This one's 159, 158. We're gonna call this one done. Chicken is done when you get to 165, but you wanna take them off at 160 so they can rest. All right, y'all, chicken thighs are done. Total cooking time was about 10 minutes. This one over here took about 11, and these two smaller ones, I probably could have taken them off at about the nine minute mark, but they came out pretty good. Let's take this one right here and cut into it. I think it came out pretty well. Let's take a taste. All right, check the inside of that. Don't know if you can see that, but it's nice and juicy. Very tender, pulls right apart. Nice and juicy on the inside. Done, but not overcooked. Let's go ahead and take a taste. Oh yeah, that is really good. Nice char on it, you can taste the rub. It's juicy, it's tender, it's not dried out, it's not overcooked. So yeah, follow this easy, easy recipe for making yourselves some nice boneless skinless chicken thighs. My name is Odeed, I'm out, peace.